Hello there, my beautiful Sagittarius friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful and excited to have each and every one of you here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. All right, everyone, on October the 23rd, the sun moves into the sign of Scorpio. This is officially marking Scorpio season. So this is going to be a very transformative time for all of us. This is where spirit is calling us to step into our power, into our strength. This is a time where our reflected reality is going to ask us to go inward because of what we are experiencing. Okay, this is like a soul mirror energy. This is what we're going to feel in our lives. Now, I'm going to bring messages through the card decks I've chosen for you today. So what I'm going to do for you today is open your reading with an Enchanted Forest Oracle card. Then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message Spirit has for you, followed by a bonus card from the Soul Mirror Oracle deck, and then close off with an angel number. So those of you that are watching today, if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects, any kind of repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is all going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. All right, Sagittarius, let's call in spirit and open up your reading. See what it is that spirit would like you to hear today. So we are getting for you, my friends, you are safe. You, my friends, are safe. So the message here is be grateful for closed doors, obstacles, and detours. Have faith that the divine mind will guide you past and around everything that doesn't serve you. So once again, be grateful for closed doors, obstacles and detours. Have faith that the divine mind will guide you past and around everything that doesn't serve you. There's a reason behind why things happen. Sometimes we don't understand them in the moment, but know there is a bigger reason and you're being safe and protected right now. Okay, so look at that. Let's go ahead and pull some tarot cards and see what else is coming through. Know that you are safe and protected. Those of you that are feeling like you're not, you definitely are. So we've got the Queen of Pentacles. We've got a lot of feminine power here, everyone. There's an opportunity at hand for you to take and nurture something in your life. I feel these are dreams. There's something that you're desiring to experience, something that you're wanting to create in your life. Now is the time for you to do that, to follow those dreams. Okay, I feel that there is definitely some sort of an opportunity to, for you to really expand and see success, experience success, and some of you are experiencing that success already. You have taken that step. So this is the Queen of Pentacles right now. We have the Eight of Swords. Perhaps you're feeling stuck. Maybe you feel there's a lot of different things that are in your life right now that are not allowing you to experience the energy of the Queen of Pentacles. Now we've got the moon in the background. Spirit is actually illuminating your path. So you're going to be able to see things a little bit more. This is also the energy of Scorpio. Okay. It's deeper, um, deeper things that are going to come to the surface here. There's a lot of mystery and magic in your life as well, everyone. So we got a lot of different things that are happening, but you're meant to break free. You're meant to release yourself from the things that are weighing you down. Okay. And we also have the four of cups. I feel some of you are not feeling motivated. Maybe there's no purpose or reason. Maybe you're looking for more meaning. Uh, maybe there's something specific that you're desiring to come into your life and nothing else will do. Or maybe you've been waiting for a very long time, but you haven't seen anything come to fruition. This is all about to change for you. Now, what I want you to do today is to use your own intuition with my reading. So whenever you see my cards on the screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Now, this is going to strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. So look at that. These are all breaking free energies. Some of you feel like you're tied up. Perhaps it feels like you can't even control your life. What you can control is yourself, your thoughts, and your actions. 
okay? This is what spirit wants you to focus on at this time. So before I begin, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading for you today. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind, but also check out your moon, rising and Venus signs. All right, if you're seeing the numbers 13, eight and four, these are confirmations that there's something in this reading for you today. And if you're also seeing the number 1484 in that sequence is also a confirmation. And if you're seeing any kind of angel numbers or repeating numbers in your life, search the Google meaning for them. Even chat GPT, ask it for the spiritual meaning for these numbers and you're gonna receive answers there, okay? So the Queen of Pentacles, this is such a, a beautiful, very um, confident energy is what I'm getting here. Someone that is, um, you know, I, I feel some of you are like the breadwinners, right? You are um, very strong. You're very powerful in your environment, in your direct reality. There's a lot that you're doing in your life to nurture yourself, but others. And I feel sometimes you nurture other people more than yourself here, Sagittarius. And what spirit wants you to do is to start focusing on first topping up your energy before um, you're giving your own energy out. I feel that you're someone that people are drawn to. There's a lot of advice that people take from you, right? You're someone that is very friendly, very kind, open and um, giving. I feel you're very giving and you're generous of your time and of other things. And this is just something that is natural about you. And I feel people adore you for this. I feel you have people that really value their relationship with you. And I feel that you're looking to grow and expand in your life, maybe in your connections, in your relationships, but also financially in your business, in your career and personally, right? I'm getting this, um, I'm getting, you know, the show uh, Sex in the City. I don't know if any of you have seen that show, but I'm getting like that kind of energy, that kind of vibe with uh, somebody, one of the girls in that crew, right? I watched maybe one or two episodes of that. Um, but I remember there's a few girl, ladies, and I think it was Jessica, Sarah Jessica Parker's um, character. Um, that's the energy I'm getting here through this Queen of Pentacles is somebody that is wanting to create their empire through their own means, through their own energy. This is someone that is maybe a business owner or wanting to start their own business. Um, and I'm seeing somebody that is doing a lot of different projects, a little, like a lot of different things, like you're a hustler here. I'm getting a hustler energy. So you're going to see a lot of growth and expansion here. You are the one that's behind the success that you're going to experience in your life. Spirit is actually applauding you and asking you to keep going, keep moving forward. Okay. Because whatever it is that you're doing, you're doing great. Okay. You're doing it really well. There's a lot that you can do. I feel that they really want you to put yourself out there. Don't be afraid to shine your light in the world. Nurture your dreams, nurture your desires. Okay, it's time for you to do that, but it starts with you. They keep pointing the finger at you. I've been getting this quite a bit in my readings where spirit keeps pointing the finger back at the person. It's like, okay, it starts with you first. Make sure you nurture your own inner garden before you give that energy out there. And those of you that feel that you're stuck, you're confused, you can't see forward, maybe you can't seem to get into this energy, maybe you started and you have given up, maybe you started and you're not seeing results, whatever this is for you, know that you're going to break free from it. You gotta just release this energy, whatever this is. Anything that is working against your desired experience, any thoughts, emotions that you're feeling, you're meant to release them, okay? So we wanna remain in this higher vibrational energy because you're linked to it. There's a lot of abundance here. Spirit is also reminding that you that you are a creator. You are creating the life experience you choose to desire. So don't let anything get in the way of that. Okay, I know that life sometimes can be hectic. I remember when I first started my YouTube channel, I had a lot of things going on and um, you know, a lot of ups and downs in this journey still are, I'm still learning and growing. There's so much I don't know, so much that I'm learning and I feel this is gonna be for you. I experienced a lot of failures in the beginning and I feel failures are important that we shouldn't let them stop us. Uh, a lot of different things that can get in the way of what it is that we're trying to do. But if you take little steps and keep moving towards those dreams, you are going to reach them, right? So that's what I'm feeling here. And you know what? Sometimes um, 
there's a different plan. Spirit is saying sometimes there is a different plan here. And that different plan is actually being shown to you through the energy of the Queen of Pentacles. This is really interesting. So I'm seeing some of you changing direction here. Perhaps you're trying to focus on this thing and maybe you put a lot of energy into it and you're not seeing any kind of growth. This is coming through the Eight of uh, Swords now, right? Know that no matter what, you are in alignment with this energy through everything that's coming through. No matter what cards have been pulled, remember this is at the core, okay? So keep this energy at the core. Now, the number eight is a number of power. What Spirit is asking you to do is to step into your power here, my friends. This feeling of being stuck, this feeling like I can't see or I can't find what it is that I need to do. I can't find a resolution. I can't fix this problem like I'm getting someone that is frustrated that can't seem to find a way like there's a barrier and you're just not able to move through it sometimes we don't even realize that there's a barrier that we can actually go over we can go under it we can go around it or we can break through it right now spirit is asking you to look at the barrier that's in front of you that you feel is holding you back from something what is that for you right they want you to smash through it because you have the power to do so Okay, you are someone that is in the resonancy of abundance. Okay, it's surrounding you. You have a lot of power. Okay, you have a lot of strength. You are a creator of your reality. Spirit wants you to get into this active participation mode. You have to be a participating um, uh, energy in the co-creation of your desired life experience. And they want you to do that instead of choosing to be uncomfortable um, or choosing to be in a place of comfort in your discomfort. I've been getting that a lot coming up as well. People that are staying in a position of discomfort, like making it a comfortable place because you're too scared to get outside of what you already know. But that's the whole point of life. We're meant to experience things that we haven't experienced and trust that we're going to get through them. That's a part of your evolution. That is a part of your growth. And right now, Spirit is shining its light on you through the moon and the moon's energy in this card and the things that you weren't able to see, you're able to see them more. You're going to have to let me know if you're feeling this energy, Sagittarius. Like what is it that you're feeling within yourself that you didn't see before, but now you're starting to wake up to? Now, I feel someone out there may have done some, taken something, like this could be mushrooms or something like that, has awakened you and shown you the truth around something in your life. This is what I'm getting here. A lot of truths are being revealed. A lot of things that were maybe suppressed or hidden are showing up in your life. And this is giving you clarity. This is making you understand that, okay, you know what? Because I'm in this situation right now, I know I don't wanna be in it. It's giving you clarity that, okay, this is not what I want. I want something else. And because you're feeling this way, Spirit is wanting you to take action on changing this for yourself because you have the power to do that. They're showing you this. You're receiving signs of this. Pay attention to the signs that you're receiving. I'm getting somebody uh, getting a light flashed on their face, like a flashlight, or maybe you were kind of uh, the TV turned on, or maybe there's a light flickering in your home. This is like spirit asking you to wake up. It's like, okay, wake up. They're shining the light on you. And it's like, oh, what, what a bright light. Maybe this is somebody's headlights as you're driving, kind of beaming in your face. This is what I'm getting here. And it feels like the moon energy. Like it, it, it's, it's, and I'm getting blinking lights here as well. So I feel there is something blinking within yourself. It doesn't have to be a blinking all at once. It could be, you know, one day you see this or that. It's like little incremental awakenings that are happening here for you. Becoming aware, receiving knowledge, wisdom, things that didn't make sense before that are starting to make sense. And what Spirit wants you to do here, Sagittarius, is not to focus on, not, not to focus on problems in your life, but let's look for solutions. Let's find ways to navigate through what it is that you're experiencing that feels like it's limiting you, that it's blocking you, that it's, um, you know, keeping you stuck, whatever these swords are, because they're illusions, they're not real. They're real when we give them energy, right? They come to life with the energy that we give them. So we have to start making different choices. We have to choose to look at our world differently and choose to navigate it differently here. Now, I have created a 14-day mindset challenge ebook where I share with you everything that I do in my own life that helps me keep, keep me aligned to what it is that I desire to experience. The link for this ebook is in the description box below. Okay, so 
This is all about you being brave and courageous and breaking free from any kind of limitation, any kind of beliefs, any kind of stories that are keeping you from experiencing the life that you desire to experience. I feel some of you are wanting to do something here, do something big. I feel this is a business. I do feel some of you are wanting to maybe start YouTube. Perhaps you've already started YouTube and perhaps you're not experiencing a good time right now. I feel that you need to give yourself some time. You need to, you know, when we first start following our dreams, it is not easy. I know this, I've done this, right? I'm here on YouTube today, but it wasn't easy when I first started. It was a lot of different things that kept coming up and I wanted to give up and I was second guessing and then people are saying all these things and all this stuff that was happening that almost demotivated me, right? To even do the channel when I first started, like it was really hard, but I feel that's the process. That's what we're meant to go through because spirit is really asking us. And I, I look back at it and I'm like, you know what? It was spirit saying, do you really want this? How badly do you want it? Because if you really want it, you're going to make it happen. And I made it happen. So I feel this is what's happening here as well for some of you right? And maybe this is coming in different ways for some of you. You'll have to share your story here in the comment section below. But what's happening is whatever that dream, that desire is, it's within reach. Okay. It is within reach. Those of you that are, that have a desire that hasn't come in, there's something that you're calling into your reality. It is coming in for you. It's in the waiting period. It's in the holding center here. And what you need to do is let go of some of the things that you're holding on to, right? Release it and let it go any kind of, again, emotions or, you know, baggage emotionally that you're carrying something that is tied to thoughts that you have that are limiting you, you have to release it and let it go. We have to shift the way that we're now approaching our life, the way that we're navigating through it. This is where spirit wants you to wake up every single day in the energy of light, knowing that you have been gifted another day to create the life you desire to experience, right? Life is a gift. You are safe. You are protected. Whatever you desire to do, do it. Don't be afraid to do it, right? I feel sometimes fear just gets in the way of everything. And fear is one of those things that, you know, it doesn't exist. It only exists because we let it exist in our lives, right? So it's all about learning how to release that fear. So perhaps you have to see someone, find some actual professional help to release that fear or do something at home by releasing energies. I like to write things out. I like to also um, strengthen my fear. So I used to be afraid of interviews. I wasn't good at them. I thought I wasn't good at them, right? It's not that I wasn't good at them. It was a fear I had. So what I used to do was, even though I had a job, I'd apply for jobs and I'd go and do the interviews as many as I could. And it wouldn't matter if I got the job or not because I wasn't going to take it. It was just practice for me, right? And I did it so much that I got so good and comfortable with it that it was a breeze when I actually went for a job interview that I got so good at it, I was able to get any kind of job I wanted. And I still do this even now, even though I'm not working somewhere, um, I have gone to different places. So I'm like, you know what, maybe I'll get a part-time job and see. And then I'm like, ah, no, forget it. I love doing this. I love doing what I'm doing here. I don't miss the outside world or working that nine to five. I enjoy what I'm doing. I love creating. I am a creator. I feel that you are also a creator. We are all creators, right? There's something that you're creating, something you're drawing in. Now, the number four in numerology is a number of manifestation. You are in manifestation mode right now. And spirit wants you to release anything that is working against your manifestation. With the moon in the background of this, I feel spirit is asking you to have some sort of a ritual, something that you do that keeps you in alignment with your goals and desires. Now, I feel some of you perhaps have positive affirmations that you say every day, some sort of like journaling or you have... Uh, a manifestation technique or, you know, grounding exercises, maybe you kind of stopped doing them. And maybe when you were doing them, you experienced really good things in your life. But now there's a period where maybe you have kind of um, moved away from that. They're wanting you to bring that back into your life. They want you to get back into that zone, into that mode, because there's something that is coming in for you that is really big and they need to be you to be in that energy to actually claim it and actually see it. It feels like there's a tree blocking it, but if you just move a little bit further away, you can see it, right? And this woman is turning her back on some of the things that maybe she was putting energy towards, right? And she's now seeing that 
manifestation coming in and look how big that cup is compared to all these other cups. Now I feel some of you are distracted. Um, now this other thing is coming up like grass is greener on the other side. Perhaps you're distracted by other things and not putting actual attention and energy into what actually is important. That's another thing that Spirit wants you to become aware of. Are you distracted by things that are temporary? Um, that are giving you this feeling, this emotion of being instantly satisfied or you're looking for that next best thing or you're looking for something better. I feel you need to not do that and focus on what's already in your life to be grateful and thankful for what is already there. And once you start to do that, there's something there waiting to come in for you. Okay, so that is the Four of Cups. This is a big expansion that is happening. And remember, love is at the core. Know that you are capable of creating and manifesting anything that you desire. And right now, there's an opportunity for you to really take this seed and run with it. Take that seed and plant it, nourish it, give it enough water and light. You're going to see it really bloom. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is pull a bonus card from the soul mirror Oracle deck. I'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook. Let's see what else spirit wants to share with you today. So we are getting here, search external and internal. Some of you might be resonating with the image of this card. All right. So we've got a search here. Some of you are searching and looking. And whatever that search is, I feel that it's coming to an end because you're going to find what it is that you're looking for. So look no further. Your search has ended. You have found what you are looking for and it is you. Your external search is a reflection of the parts of yourself you have yet to embrace. Be the master of your own reality, the impeccable createness, weaving life with your own unique gifts. You are an impact, sorry, you are an immaculate and perfect creator of our shared reality. Step into your authentic being so that your truth and light can illuminate and join hand in hand with the beautiful mosaic of life. If you're still searching in the outer world, reflect on these external needs and desires as they are calling you to what you are not perceiving within yourself. Your external search is in fact a search of a part of you that you don't recognize or see. The external validation, seeking, blaming, or wanting is what keeps you from being you. Release the self-imposed cage of seeking outside of yourself. When you do, everything in your external realm will naturally find you because you have found yourself in, and it will reflect this. So hold your space, feel your calm, and bring your peace. Trust that everything will flow lovingly your way. You have everything you need inside of you. It's not external to you, it's inside of you, okay? So there's a reflection message, a journaling prompts here for you. Feel free to write these down, everyone. What do my external needs and desires say about me and what I am not perceiving within myself? What self-imposed cage of seeking do I need to release in order to see my true self? How can I trust and believe that I have everything I need within me? All right. So look at that search. All right. I'm now going to pull an angel number. Some of you are seeing angel numbers, repeating numbers in your life. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So we're getting authenticity. That's where it's at, everyone, is your authenticity, your true self. So 37, 37, if you're seeing this number in this sequence, anywhere in your life, this is a confirmation of this message for you today. So your true self emerges. This is your true self that is emerging, and that's what you might be feeling here. And what I'm getting is the search card is tying in with the Eight of Swords, okay? And also with this message. They're wanting you to find your real purpose or you're going to find your real purpose here. Life's mission. They're wanting you to be vigilant and um, listen to your genuine feelings. Okay, I feel your body is speaking to you, communicating with you, and it's time for you to listen. All right, everyone, I'm super excited to announce to you that my sister-in-law, Katomi, has put together her Christmas ritual box. Now, these are available right now. I have the link for these in the description box below. This is a protection box. There is a purpose behind this. It's going to come with full instructions on how to use this kit. It comes with two candles. Each of these candles have a stone. One of the candles actually have a tassel, okay? 
The stones in these candles are going to be consecrated. So you're going to put intentions in these candles and you're going to be able to carry these stones around you after the fact. Now, there's only a limited supply of these everyone. So the deadline for these the last one you can order is on December the 5th and we wanted to get these out early because last year we sold out of them. So again, secure yours today. I've got the link for these in the description box below. All right, so this is your message. This is your reading. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.